Hello YouTubers, this is Jerry Lopez doing a quick review of my new, my, well at least my newer gun which is a 1911 Nighthawk Custom Talon and I'm doing a small comparison or a slight comparison to my um, Les Bear SRP. Keep in mind these two guns are, the Nighthawk Talon is $500 more than the Les Bear and um, but let's see how it goes, you know what I mean? So the first thing, as far as I could tell by the um, Nighthawk Talon, like I said, this is my newer 1911. So it only has about 500 down the barrel versus this is my oldest 1911 with my first custom, which is uh, has thousands, like I said in prior videos, maybe more than 5,000 or at least 5,000. So you're going to see more wear, of course, on this and obviously when they just fire 500 rounds. So... For safety purposes, you guys could see there's no in the chamber. You got it. There you go. Same thing with the Les Bear. Not one in the chamber. Alright. What makes these guns great, obviously, is a fit and finish. The detail they put into these type of guns. Um, the main difference on between the Nighthawk Talon would be the magazine button right here, as you can see, is actually extended. Compare that with my Les Bear SRP. A lot shorter, regular. Same thing with the. Um, with the catch, this is um flattened out, small. Let me see if I could get that in the light. Just like a regular 1911, the Nighthawk Talon has that extended. It also a lot easier to grip. I actually prefer it this way. You could just flip it down. It's like right there. You really don't have to like squeeze in your thumb. Same thing with the mag release. I can What I actually liked about this, I actually want to do this to my um Les Bear now. Um, main difference between these two guns, obviously, is a magwell. Oh, this gun itself, look at the magwell on this. So I could see it's, you can't even tell it's a two-piece. This is so perfectly smoothed into, you would actually think it's a single piece. So, like I said, well, at least it better be, right? Um, it is a custom 1911, so... That's what you expect from the makers. Let's just talk about this gun first since this is a main video regarding this gun. Um, I've noticed that there's not a lot of videos in the closest on this gun. As you can see, there's I love about this is a small detail into this. Let me see if I could focus on that. There's a checkering on the back. I actually clean this a little bit. But anyways, there's a small checker the, the checkering in the back the top of the slide there's slight more detail than this in my Les Bear or actually a good amount but it's also $500 or more and for $500 you guys could get yourselves a nice Glock or whatever other gun you guys want so it's your preference if you guys want to save the money both of these guns are great but like I said, as far as I put already like hmm, four to five hundred rounds, no hiccups, no failures to feed. It comes with great mags. Like um, they're very reliable, which I actually like. I think I might actually end up buying, start buying some of these. Just comes with their own Nighthawk mags, eight with one eight round. Well, at least how mine came with it, and then one seven round. Like I said, these are reliable. So, I actually end up liking those mags. I'm really picky. I usually will only use Wilson Combat mags, but I actually end up liking those. And, um, now let's start comparing these two guns real quick, since, like I said, for people that are thinking about this gun, it's great. It's real good. I wouldn't say it's better than the Les Bear. A lot of people, once once they buy a custom gun, they swear by everything. Like, oh, this is better than their Les Bear, Red Brown, Wilson, and 
I don't do none of that. I actually, to each his own. If you have the money to get even a super great Wilson versus all these guns are nice and um, are worth every penny for the most part. You know what I mean? And um, it's up to you what you really are into the 1911 are willing to spend the uh, 2500 3000 on a handgun so people would not even think about spending that much on a handgun and rather put that into a rifle so it's which is not bad like i said it's to each his own you know what i mean and um so like i said these are the two main differences the check green on the back front both come with um night sights the trigger pull i have not weighted i'm thinking it's around the four four pounds because it feels the same amount as is my last bear, same clean pull as far as the feels like if it was glass. So real nice. I'm very happy with this gun. Unlike my last bear, this is on a single sided um safety. You know this one's um ambidextrous. I like ambidextrous. Something I got used to since I do shoot both of my left and right hand. Oh, well, this is my um, Ed Brown. We'll talk about that later. I'm not comparing that one to this. was a completely different monster all in all. That one's built for a different purpose. These two would be considered a little bit more apart with each other. So, first thing I noticed off the bat, like I said in my prior video, previous video as far as my Les Bear, there's not a lot of beauty into this gun as far as into detail work, but this is all about function versus beauty so like I said everything but I could tell you right now the hand fitting on this gun is ridiculous I do recommend this gun but let's like what I'm talking about as far as beauty look at the edges on the bushing on the back on the slide you see, I don't know if I could get that now let's compare that with there as you can see it's a lot smoothed out you can see that off the bat on the bushing, bear has a little more too. The the slide. So there's more detail into this gun. What it should be, it's an extra five hundred dollars. So that's what you, uh, what you expect from um from a gun that's more expensive, right? But as far as reliable, they're both. Well, actually, this one I would consider more reliable because I put a thousand thousand more rounds. Through it, like I said, this one only has 500, so I wouldn't consider it reliable, but I would trust my life as far as on this gun more than this. The only reason being is that I have not fired enough rounds to consider this on uh, my 100% reliable gun. So until so it has at least half the rounds that the Les Bridge been through, would I consider it as reliable or more reliable, whichever. Like I said, they're both great guns, fitting. It's ridiculous. The checkering, I have to give it to Les Bear on the front strap. It's actually better. It's just perfect. It's, um, I can't never say enough about the front, the, the checkering on Les Bear's, um, since it's handmade, it's, like I said, it's just right on the hand. It's not too rough. It's not too smooth. It's just right. Like I said, this one does not have the, the cuts in the back or on top of the slide but if you guys are really saving up like i said as guys as far as reliability goes lesbers go is great you know what i mean it's real great it does not come with the magwell this one like i said does come with the magwell you can order it with the magwell they're both custom guns custom shops so you could get whatever you want on these guns let me fix that up there you go as far as just go back to this gun like I said, there's not really too much to say since it is newer and the 1911 goes as far like in the fit and finish. Look at that. I would actually, how tight the tolerance on these guns are. And like I said in my previous video, a lot of people say because they're tight or because some guns are not as reliable. I think that's horse shit. Um, I've proven it by shooting this gun to thousand rounds without cleaning just wiping it down real quick and um they did not miss a beat so 
and that's a Les Baron. These are the main ones out of Nighthawk, Wilson, and Ed Brown that Les Baron makes tighter guns in all those three, the other three. So, and if you guys ever felt a Les Baron, you guys will know that off the bat. And, um, yeah, let me see. As far as this gun is a beauty, I love the wood chicken. The wood chicken. I said this is not original on Les Bear. I switched that off. Uh, love the wood grips on the the Nighthawk. How they put their own logo on there. It's real nice. It fits perfectly. But the gun, like I said, the sights, the nice sights are just like my Les Bears, which is amazing. The checkering on this one is slightly a little more rough. Not too much. Unlike a let's say a TRP that they for for me by far as far as 1911 that they, they have the roughest, which you know some people don't care about, but I look at the little things. You know what I mean? It's just comfort wise, this gun is great, and uh, yeah, you can compare them side to side. Like I said, the uh, prices on these. On one, I think online would be three thousand. This one's a twenty-five. They're both great guns, and um, like I said, I wouldn't say one's better than over the other. Any custom nineteen eleven, any nineteen eleven in general is a great gun. For the, like I said, for the most part, some of them you do pay for what you get. Um, I'm not a strictly a nineteen nineteen eleven yeah nineteen eleven person, but. They are, they are my favorite weapon. I never say the, these are better than Glocks. Glocks for me are great, um, reliable guns. I have never owned a Glock. The only reason is being I don't like the grips. It's just I don't like the grips. I, prefer, I owned an XDM. I chose that over a Glock, which I considered better. Like I said, it just, it just fit my, um, my hands better. I shot better with it. The Glocks are reliable. I'm not doing no... I'm not a 1911 fanboy and like comparing like, oh yeah, this is by far the best and better than Glock. And no, man, you don't have to spend high quality money to get a reliable gun. Glock right there proves that. Now let's compare that also. There. Ed Brown's mags are, oh, that's another thing. Ed Brown mags are another great mag. They make great mags, you see that? Like I said, reason why I don't compare this 1911 since this is a Cobra carry. It's very different. You're talking about these are two full size guns. Then you got a four and a quarter inch 1911 here. You got the bobtail on that. This one itself is ex explanatory as far as this Cobra carry. This is meant to be more of a carry thing. That's why this one has the, uh, the most. That's the most detail as far as it's the horned. Compare that even the trigger So overall like I said, that's why I'm not doing the comparison with this gun. They're all great guns like I said as far as um Ed Brown goes Nighthawk and Les Bear um, Probably in the future. I'm beginning myself a Wilson combat uh, Still debating which model to get looking into their predator. I think it is But um like I said, maybe that's a little later. Still looking at them. But, um, yeah, this is the Nighthawk Talon. Great gun. Looks beautiful. Reliable as, as well, so far. I don't want to say super reliable. Like I said, it's only 500 rounds. So I don't even think I hit its breaking yet. So, but as far as I was treating me now, it's real nice. Trigger pull fit the detail on this it's worth the money up to you i don't know three is it worth three grand to you would you buy that on a gun i don't know i did i love 1911 i like custom 1911 so why not right and um yeah that'll be all for now if you guys could um please subscribe like comment and also if you guys want to know um what I'm getting before months before I actually post things on YouTube. Add me on Instagram. It's um Jerry1911. No spaces. J E R R Y nineteen eleven. And uh I show things prior before I end up getting them. 
as far as accessories for my rifles, for my Benelli, my Reaper. Um, yeah, so you guys add me. Thank you very much. And I have a great day.